everybody. Welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing, and I'm Mike D. Well, today we're going to do another segment of the cleaning table, and today we're going to be cleaning a Bonita, or a little tunny false albacore. They have many names, but they're actually a really good fish. I already got the video out that uh, the catch and cook Bonita, so we'll go ahead and do this video so you guys see how I cleaned it. All right, guys, I got my Bonita right here, and we're going to do two things with this. We're going to take the back portion off and this portion off here and that's what we're going to use to eat but then we're going to take this whole belly portion here and that's what I'm going to make my strips out of to troll with tomorrow basically we're just going to cut right here go all the way down and come along this back right here and we're going to come straight right here make a cut just like that As you can see, if you bleed this fish properly, the meat is no different color than the tuna. And I will tell you this, this fish tastes no different than a blackfin tuna, but not as good as a yellowfin or a bluefin, I will tell you that, but it tastes no different than a blackfin. But, unlike a black fin or a yellow fin, you cannot freeze this fish. The second you freeze this fish, it is no good to eat. But to eat it fresh, you can make seared tuna with it, just like you get seared ahi at the restaurant. It tastes just the same. You can also eat this sushi style. It tastes just the same as a black fin. Just cut that little bit of red meat out and you're good to go. Well, here we go. There's my tuna pieces. Clean up our uh, fish right here. There we go. Just clean up a little bit of red meat right here. that right there and that piece right there is good to go might be able to use this right here for some strip might be able to we'll try it basically you just want that flashy piece of the skin so we'll try to make a strip out of that this off, a little bit of dark meat right there, and that piece is good to go, and we'll get a nice little strip out right here, a little bonita strip, not the best looking one, but hey, you might be able to do something with it. I'm going to cut this off right here. Notice I am leaving a little bit of the meat on right here. So that way I can get a strip. I'll cut this dark meat off right here. You don't get a whole lot of meat off these bonita, especially one this size. But this is good. It really is. It's no different than a tuna. And as you can tell, look at that. It looks no different than a black fence. And the 
of stuff here I'll throw in the crab traps. I'll make some strips out of that. We'll uh, turn it over so we can see it right here. get all this blood meat out this dark meat every bit of it because it will make it taste disgusting same thing on a tuna though you want to get all that dark that dark red blood meat out now you just got a really good piece of tuna right there basically See that? Good stuff. Alright guys, well this is what you end up with with a tuna, or a bonita rather, that size. Get a couple little baits out of it. A nice looking meat. Well, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Me cleaning that bonita. It's actually a really good fish. I hope you all want to try it sometime. Uh, just make sure you bleed it and you get all that dark meat out and don't freeze it. Eat it fresh. It's really good. Well, guys, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please, right now, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that little bell for notifications. And if you have subscribed, if you're already a subscriber to this channel, thank you very much. I truly appreciate y'all. Well, guys, I get to see you again soon here on the water. Tight lines, y'all.